Florida's coral reefs provide life to numerous plants and animals. That's why they're so important to all of us. Moat Marine Laboratory in Sarasota has been working to restore those coral reefs for years. Florida's coral reefs are the largest coral reef ecosystem in the continental U.S. The extensive, shallow coral reefs stretch more than 350 miles, from the dry Tortugas near Key West to the St. Lucie Inlet in Martin County. And now a new $7 million grant from NOAA to Moat is going to help them ramp up those restoration efforts. News Channel 8 Sarasota County Bureau reporter Allison Henning is in Sarasota to explain. I'm told this grant alone is going to more than double the number of corals outplanted on Florida's coral reef in just four years time. Researchers at Moat Marine Laboratory have been hard at work trying to turn the tide on the diminishing number of living coral on Florida's coral reef. When I was a little boy living in the Keys, um, the living coral cover was about 60%. It's now down to 2 to 5%. Moat so CEO Dr. Michael Crosby says their vision for the next decade is to outplant over 1 million coral fragments to ultimately boost the living coverage back up to about 30%, where it stood about four decades ago. A nearly $7 million grant from NOAA is going to help scientists make some of that progress in the next four years. This new NOAA grant is really allowing Moat to take leadership in a transformational initiative that is looking at a holistic approach for coral reef community restoration. In addition to outplanting 242,000 coral fragments along 10 reef sites just offshore the Florida Keys, funding will also cover the cost of growing and releasing 34,000 Caribbean king crabs. The native species is an herbivore that helps cut down on the algae that restricts the coral's growth. Right now, there just aren't enough of them in the environment to keep the algae under control. They act as sort of our, our lawnmowers, so they're, they're out weeding our coral garden so that the corals don't compete with algae on the reef, which which they do at the moment. Historically, the reef restoration work Moat has done has been extremely successful. The CEO tells us the corals they have outplanted have shown a 90% survival success rate. Reporting from Sarasota County, Allison Henning, 8 on your side.